nay có hàng phát đến để mà sửa chữa à, xe nó bị báo lỗi đó à, đây à, anh à, chàng này đã đến rồi Vinfast Mobile Service The picture right here. Show him the, the warning sign là nó, nó báo lỗi They have the, they say that the speed limit uh, warning This one, okay. one, the, the one picture. side one, And one. Uh, this one it turned off too Okay, is it actively on right now? Uh, yeah, right now it's on but okay. yesterday And this is another one. Another Emergency uh, okay. land keeping keep assist fault. Okay, I'll I'll take a look at the vehicle. Yeah. Okay. You can. Yeah, the Nissan sẽ vô chỉnh. Coi như là Chi cũng muốn uh, quay lại cho các uh, cô chú anh chị và các bạn xem về cách uh, technician đi làm việc như thế nào, đi reset cái xe như thế nào. Nhưng mà cái luật của công ty họ, họ không có cho. Họ nói là để cái người đó tự Thế làm mình. Kỹ thuật viên đã làm xong xuôi hết. Làm xong rồi họ sẽ chỉ dẫn lại chỉ cho lại Chi. Cách nào mà để có thể là reset lại cái xe nếu mà nó bị problem. Yeah. Ok. Đây là cái xe mobile service. đến tận nhà customer để mà sửa chữa. Hôm nay thì mình đi đi công việc hẹn 11 giờ mà đi tới sớm hơn, sớm hơn 10, 10 phút. phút luôn á. Ừ. Ok, bây giờ bây giờ mình đợi đợi cho cho anh chàng đó làm xong thì mình sẽ vô mình coi lại. Anh, anh kỹ thuật viên sẽ mang cái computer laptop vô để mà cắm vô trong xe. Well, I'm, I'm just showing you how to do a reset. So if you do have an alert on the screen, mm -hmm. uh, what you can do firsthand is do what we call like a reset. So what you do is you're going to press and hold the power button mm -hmm. down. Mm -hmm. right. And then the touchscreen will eventually reset itself. It does take a while. Oh, take just, a while? Just in case, just, well, not like too long, but it, so there you go. You have oh, the reset. Okay. Just in case, like, About... just in case if somebody had like their elbow like this, or wow. they had their arm resting, mm -hmm. so that's why it does take a long time for it to reset. Mm -hmm. Just because they factor in that just possibility that somebody just had About their arm. One minute. Oh, one minute, and then it reset. I say about a minute. Okay, and now it reset already. So it's doing the reset right now. Uh -huh. So, excuse me. Um, so it's gonna go through the reset. This is all gonna turn off. It reset. It reboots itself. Re okay. Reboot, reset. So then you just go ahead, and there you go. You're still the car's still on. Okay. I highly recommend if you're gonna do this, be in a safe location, be parked. Okay. Don't be driving on the road doing this. Mm -hmm. And then there you go. Of course, you do. I read everything. I'll pick your. I'll pick your. Uh... Go to your seat setting. Okay, so what would be that message? Oh, okay. Okay, someone wakes up, it, it does throw uh, like a little warning, but it's some um, just the car waking up. So the next time when so we have the warning side, we just reset. I recommend doing the reset. Reset. Yeah. You hit that button. The, the power button. Mm, okay, power button. And then just press and hold. Hold it. Okay. For about, I like you said, probably about a minute. If mm -hmm. it's a little longer, mm -hmm. just press and hold it until you start seeing it kind mm. of turn off. And then okay. it'll reset itself. Oh, okay. Okay? Okay. And uh, sometimes I have a problem. Like, I cannot, when I go to my profile, like my chili. And I don't got, got all my information in there. Oh, uh, what's the, the pin number? The chairs go back to what? Go back right now. Yeah, I I, I can't. I stopped it right now because. Okay. Okay. So that chime. Chime. So, okay. So have to be on. Yes, or else you're gonna have this. See how you have this? The speed limit warming chime okay. deactivated. Drive with care. That's gonna be on because you have the chime turned off. Oh, so when you turn it on. Okay. Oh, look, it goes away. So you're good. Okay. So that's just it's just their way of protecting you and the vehicle and then fast itself yeah or else you're gonna have the warning message so if you turn it off that warning message is gonna pop on 
Yeah. So, it, and the chime is basically, if you just go over the speed limit, it just is the little ding, ding, like, just to kind of let you know, hey, you're going above the speed limit. You're, you're considered speeding now. And uh, my question, like, when the speed limit, like, on the street, like, allow they, me go, like, 45, if I go over limit, the car is slowed down. They have to oh, I mean, unless there's, unless you're on... Uh, the VIN pilot and there's a car in front of you, but if you're speeding past the speed limit what, it, Yeah, it won't slow down. It won't slow you down Well, you're in the driver's seat and you were responsible for driving uh, the speed limit. Okay. Like last week I got the Somebody like driving like they turn left and in front of my car mm -hmm. and this car is stopped completely and Do you know like we have a camera in front? And can I got the record, the camera? No, we don't, don't. You don't have access to record or to get like the camera feed. Oh. We don't have that option on the vehicle. Well, no, the the, the camera is specifically designed for just for, for driver's assistance. Uh huh. And to do like the VIN pilot, um, you know, lane control. It's not set to record things. I see. Okay, because somebody told me like maybe like VIN fast have to record for that. And, but you said that we and, cannot like to do that. Okay. As of right now, no. I mean, maybe down the line they might potentially release that as an option or they might do that in the software update. That I wouldn't know. They may do that in the future. Yeah. I'm not sure. Okay. It could be a possibility. It may not be a possibility. But as of right now, no, you cannot record. Like this camera is not recording. Okay. It. Got it. When the I set up the seat like every time I put the my name in here, mm -hmm. my profile, the mm -hmm. chair is supposed to be on my side. In the right position. Yeah. In her... But it's go is back. That... Every time I put the my name, everything is go back to zero. Okay, so we're Let's see. Now we we need to reset that again. Okay. I... Now... Bây giờ chị sẽ uh, như như là chỉnh lại ghế ngồi. Uh... Chị sẽ chỉnh lại uh, ghế ngồi uh, và kiến để mà cho cái profile của Chi mỗi lần để Chi vô chọn chọn profile của Chi là chị sẽ y như vậy. Còn mình sẽ cũng có một cái profile riêng tên Lâm thì mình vô thì nó sẽ tự động nó chỉnh theo cái, những cái ghế và cái mirror của mình. Anh đổi lên lại đi Bây giờ set up uh, account của anh Lâm Alright, so seat position good? No. Anh chỉnh lại theo Hay cái rồi xong rồi <cười> Tại vì mấy bữa mình phải chỉnh mình á, không yeah, có work á okay Coi cái kiến chiếu hậu luôn anh Alright, how about side view mirrors? Side view mirrors look good Need to change them? Mm, let me see. Yeah, I need to change the... Okay, so you need to have the left one. Yeah, left it's selected one, on yeah. left. Yeah. So you go ahead and move it. Cái anh chàng này là người Mỹ. À, cái này hướng dẫn á, thì... Anh chỉ cho, cho vợ chồng Chi cái cách uh, chỉnh như thế nào. Bữa giờ mình chỉnh mà nó yeah. không có work vô đó. Nó không có... Uh, nó không có lưu lại Profile setting. Oh. Okay. Cái này có so, nhiều để, để, để học hỏi lắm yeah. luôn á, các bạn ơi. Okay, now it's the... Oh, let's go back to to her position. So it's gonna go yeah. to hers. So okay. is, is so we'll go ahead and we'll cancel it because I cancel don't. Cancel it. <laughs> uh, well, I was gonna cancel it so that way your uh, your knees don't go into the steering wheel. Right. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So let's go to yours. I mean, that's mean like his phone is connect to the car too, right? When it's go to his account. No, so it will go to your whoever is the the main profile on the account. It will always go to your phone first. 
Oh. Because that was the first phone that was paired, and it's also linked to the main account. So oh. how Bluetooth works is it goes off of the first paired phone, second paired phone. So let's say you guys go out for, for dinner or whatever, and you guys both get in the car. He's driving, you're in the passenger uh -huh. seat. Because your phone was the first one to pair, okay. the car is going to go to yours first. Mm -hmm. uh, because I was the first one paired. Mm -hmm. yeah. It doesn't go off a of profile. It goes off of who was paired first. So it has a list. So it goes, okay, is, you know, Key and is your the, phone yeah. here? Uh -huh. No? Okay, it's not here. Oh, his phone's here. All right, we'll go to that one. So it goes down a list mm -hmm. of okay. w available phones. Now, so if in the car, if like, I don't want I... to use my phone, I want to use his phone. So what you're going to do... I... Stop. stop you're gonna stop apple carplay mm -hmm. okay fast on the freeway mm -hmm. then that you know it's gonna go with the the flow of traffic per se um so if the traffic is going really really fast everybody's driving fast that range will, you probably won't hit it but if you're stuck in traffic you probably won't hit it if you're blasting the ac uh i mean there's a lot of things that go into range so for instance if you're driving uphill you're gonna use more range mm -hmm. you're driving downhill you, you'll probably save some range because you're going downhill and gravity's just pulling you down the hill. Um, you know, uh, if you're going 90, 100 miles an hour on the freeway and you got the AC on full blast, that 167 is probably going to be more like 110 or something. You know, I don't, I can't really say because I'm not, I don't mm -hmm. really, there's a lot of, a lot of variables that go into that range. Okay. Okay. So, I mean, the best way to kind of get that range, you know, drive drive very conservatively. Don't try to drive aggressive. Mm -hmm. um, you know, really utilize the regen. So, if you got regen, you know, on high, you're doing pretty good. Mm -hmm. um, you can even drive on eco. Eco will probably get you a little bit more range versus, yeah. versus sport. If you're driving sport, yeah. that 167, that's going to be a... a very nice fantasy mm -hmm. because your eco you're when you come from like a stop you're you're gonna go nice and slow you're gonna leave the line very slow normal it's just gonna be just an average acceleration sport you're gonna kind of launch yourself back in the seat you're gonna aggressively take off oh yeah normal like we can go like echo better right you can go you go and it'll say it'll probably save you energy yeah save energy because when you go from a stop just know that when you're leaving for instance like a stop sign it's not going to be as fast. It's just going to be very slow. So you're going to you're, you're use a small amount of energy. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. you, you speak I, I mean, it's kind less. of like the same as a gas car. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, you, you gas it's, a, it's, it's the same as a gas car. Up. Except, for instance, if it's seeing a lot of rain up here, mm -hmm. it will try to clean that off. Right. So it's automatic, you know, white. Auto, uh, automatic, your granny. sensor, your sensor is going to be this guy. Mm -hmm. Có cái quay sensor trong đây nè, có sensor trên đó nè. Vậy nó khi mà mưa xuống thì nó tự động nó. Mm. But, but yesterday the rain a little bit. I don't see the windshield is turned on. Well, well cuz you just turned on auto, so it's just going to do a function check. So if I click on auto, all it's going to do is just do a function check, make sure everything's good. You did already? Yeah, yeah it's on auto right now. Yeah. See how it's lit oh, up right here? Đây nè, cái 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 mũi tên này nè. Okay. Nè. See how it's lit up? And then you turn that, and now it's off. Oh, up. And they'll even tell you right here. Uh, so I said, so when you hit out, yeah. oh, you have to turn on. Yeah. So it, this does take a while for it to. Oh, there you go. Okay. Oh, yeah. So this yeah. is take wipe wipe it on. Oh. So okay. I would rely on this, not the touch screen, because if it's on, this will oh. be illuminated. Oh, the drive. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Cái này nó. Đèn nó sáng lên đó. Đó đậu tô là nó đậu tô. Đó là auto đó. Mm, and okay. one more like this one like it's be close by itself the so if you have group. auto if you turn on auto and it's raining it will close mm, this one too right so, so yes so like for instance let's say you have auto on and uh -huh. it's raining mm -hmm. it'll automatically do this mm -hmm. okay but okay. because it's sunny out everybody likes to see the sun mm -hmm. it it won't turn it won't close it mm -hmm. no. okay got it now it's automatic now. Còn giờ bây giờ nó tự động đó. Okay. Đụng vô. Đó. Đụng đó, đụng cái nút này nè. Yeah. Nó off. Bởi vậy nó cái 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 okay, quạt nước nó. Okay, check in here. Okay, mm. now like oh, today I learn a lot. You know it's slowly <laughs> like it's been almost a yeah. month and yeah, I still oh. like pretty new. Mm -hmm. I don't want to maybe I hope something is something wrong and <laughs> Oh yeah, no. It's uh 
a lot of it's a lot of learning. Yeah, and, right. And because it's a brand new car mm -hmm. and it's coming from a startup company, there's not mm -hmm. a lot of information out. I mean, I've been told by a lot of customers that they are, they themselves are trying to learn the car too as well. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of a, kind of a beautiful thing that the customers and the technicians mm -hmm. are kind of learning together. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're learning a little bit more because we're around the car so frequently. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. So. And, and you're still run, learning now, right? We are still learning, <laughs> you know? Like, Sorry, the accident, it happened. And somebody like turned on the left and they hit, like I almost hit them, but the car completely stopped. Mm -hmm. And that's amazing. Like the so, ADA. Yeah, they, and very good. The, uh, emergency. You know, and, Break, right? Yep. Emergency break um, automatic work. emergency braking. All oh, right, that's perfect. Yeah, I, I've because it's I've normal. used it too. I've used it too. I mean, not the automatic emergency braking, uh -huh. but I've used a lot of VIN Pilot, and it's very, very, very smart. Right. It works very well. Rất là thông minh. Làm việc rất là tốt. Hệ thống thắng. I drive really far from to and from work, so when we had a test car, I really used VIN Pilot a lot and kind of got a feel for how it how it operates, mm -hmm. what are its boundaries, what are its borders and everything, and its limits. So, um, and honestly, I liked it a lot better than uh, the Tesla mm -hmm. Autopilot. Mm -hmm. okay. Oh, okay. Okay, the setting in, uh, what I got, dry. Okay, there we go. Intelligent speed recognition. I think you have to set it while you're driving, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so I think you have to set it while yeah. you're driving. Um, yeah, because everything looks good. Yeah. I don't know about the distance wise when you're driving. Um, with the lines, I'll have like the little bricks right there. I saw four um, bricks. Four, you saw four? Yeah. Okay, so then that that's what? gonna that's gonna be what that's me. You're, you're gonna so when it starts breaking, it's gonna break really early for the vehicle. Because, um, because my concern like it's still fast. The car is still fast. And yeah. I have to 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 put in the brake. So I definitely definitely be aware while you drive. Uh, remember, it's a driver's assistance, not a uh -huh. driver's safety. Uh huh. Um, so you know you still need to be alert you still need to be pay attention yeah um if you do feel like it's going a little too fast uh, the red light and everyone stop this car is too fast and i don't know like yeah that's why so, i have to use so, my brake for myself yeah the braking is is quite aggressive i will admit um but for your concern for your test like your experience like, my, my experience yeah I, from my personal experience um the braking is a little a little harsh but yet again the VIN pilot is constantly learning. Also, yet again, the VIN pilot is also still, it's still in development. So it's still being worked on, it's still being bettered. It's still, they're still fine tuning it still. Um, so with every update, VIN pilot will get a little better. Learning, it's still, it's still adapting to, to, to our driving, yeah. you know? So it's gonna learn from your driving. Um, you know, if your husband's driving, it's gonna learn to adapt to his driving. But it's just continually learning and it's continuing to improve. Uh, Perfect. Okay. And when it's updated, it automated is updated to my car? Yeah. Car so, so while you're driving, um, if there's an update that's, you know, ready for your vehicle, uh -huh. it will start downloading either through Wi-Fi or through cellular data. Okay. If for whatever reason we see that it's not updating, what we'll recommend is um, hooking it up to Wi-Fi. A really good Wi-Fi uh, source. Mm -hmm. So the that 4G was... right here is not. It cannot. Uh, use 4G, it? 4G, you can use it, um, but for whatever reason, if it's just not, it just doesn't have a strong signal. Mm -hmm. A good backup to do is like, for instance, have your Wi-Fi hooked at up home. to it. Yes. Oh, okay. And... Yelling at it, it probably got confused. Again. Open sunroof. There we go. Oh, I think I'll 
It, it does take a while. It takes a while. It, yeah. yeah, it does take a while. Uh, uh, then again, it's still the vehicle's still early development. You know, like with still, still early. It's still working out its bugs. So, uh -huh. um, like I said, with every update, things are gonna get better. Everything's gonna keep improving. It's just that the vehicle is still fairly new. It's okay. just barely, you know, it's like a little kid. It's still uh -huh. learning. It's still figuring yeah. out we, everything. We so. still take care of them. Yeah. The baby. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You still take care of them. You still kind of guide uh -huh. them to, to where it needs to be. So, okay. um, so you, you know, it will have little hiccups. It will have little glitches. I will admit. Um, you know, even, even when I was at Tesla, there was a lot of glitches, a lot of hiccups. Uh, that's just the thing with uh, electric vehicles. Uh, it's basically just a big computer on wheels. So it's it's gonna have its glitches. It's gonna have its off days. It's gonna have its good days. Um, but for the most part, you know, the car is very consistent. It okay. is very good. Um, I I very much enjoy the vehicle. It's a lot different than a Tesla. It's a lot better than a Tesla. Um, but yet again, you owned the Tesla before. I used to work for Tesla for four years. Oh, okay. So oh, I like this car a lot yeah, better yeah. because it's yeah, yeah, Tesla before. It's different. It's different. You can tell the qualities there. Mm -hmm. So, but yet again, it's still this vehicle still in its early startup days. It's still learning. It's still improving. It's getting better. So, I mean that's part of the the that's part of the fun of being a pioneer for Vinfast. It's we're still learning we're still developing and we only got uh, we can only go up from here oh okay, mm, okay and how long you work for been fast since september wow it's so new. yeah still fairly new technician yeah. wise i'm probably the fourth technician that they've had mm. so and we're still hiring more and more technicians uh -huh. so like like kind of seniority wise i'm number four on the list so and we have 25 technicians now all in california so we're we're getting a lot of them technicians they're learning very quickly so we want to make sure we, we can support everybody and uh grow with our customers awesome yeah thank you and you know i ordered a tesla before, oh yeah before the, i i, I picked up the wind pass uh -huh. and i cancel it yeah, I mean, I, I think I make a good decision. I'm yeah. very happy with this, my baby. Oh, yeah. And it, I'm willing to take care of my baby and grow the baby. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and it's a lot cooler looking, too. Uh -huh. And the quality is a lot better. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I think I pretty much. No, as long as the seatbelts buckle. So if you're running in reverse, if you're going in reverse, it will have the parking brake on until, uh -huh. you hit, until you hit the accelerator pedal it's just so that way you can see that hey there's nobody behind me so for instance like if you're in reverse uh -huh. you have the seatbelt buckled well let's say the neighbor's kid runs like behind you yeah and you don't see him well then you just now hit the kid but if you're going in drive well, when you drive you drive forward so you're automatically looking already in front of you okay so you do not have to hit the parking brake if you're in drive you do not have to hit it and it'll automatically disengage so for instance i go and drive uh -huh. it just engage. so it automatically engages when it's in park so for instance if i'm in reverse yeah reverse and I use it, it, do it doesn't it doesn't release the parking brake just just in case if something runs behind oh, you okay it's something like a dog cat kid you know maybe somebody's running um that's just for their safety so for instance i'm in reverse okay, right now okay reverse then đập thắng đập ga đó thì nó không có moving the car so it will release if i hit the accelerator pedal though hit the accelerator pedal oh, it will okay. release because then at that point you know if the car says okay if you're hitting the accelerator pedal that's you, you already drive. know no one's behind you okay okay so when you go into drive it will already disengage because when you go and drive, you're already looking for it. Okay. And let's, let's go, go up. Yeah, so you can, so I can go up. I'm just going to go. Okay. But what this button for? Like the button right here? This is to engage or disengage the parking brake. So, so I'm going to disengage it. 
I'm gonna engage it. So this is for your parking brake. Okay. Rồi bây giờ mình hiểu rồi. <cười> Mỗi lần á là mình nghĩ là mình phải đụng cái nút cái ở phía dưới để mà mình thắng, thắng, thắng tay giống như xe xăng có cái thắng tay á. Còn bây giờ thì à, mọi thứ mình đã hiểu rồi, tí nữa sẽ nói lại bằng tiếng Việt. Anh này nói tiếng người nước ngoài cho nên là nói tiếng nhanh, ảnh nói nhanh quá chừng luôn. À, chiếc xe, chiếc xe của ảnh nè. Gần một tháng rồi Em đã, đã về Ở cùng nhà Với Chi Vợ chồng Chi nè à, Yêu thương Thích lắm Thank you so much For your help Yeah Uh huh Yeah, now I learn I know a lot. Rồi, mình đã học được nhiều lắm luôn á. Rồi. Bye bye customer service like mobile service. Mobile service. <cười> Rồi, vậy là rất là tốt nha, mobile service là rất là tốt. Hầu như các các hạng khác thì nếu mình xe mình có bị một hư hỏng gì đó mình phải đem đến tận cái dealer người ta mới mới sửa chữa, còn đây là họ đến tận nhà để mình để cho họ sửa chữa. Bây giờ em biết thêm một cái nữa nè Khi mà muốn đóng cửa Thay vì nãy mình kéo cửa kính lên á ừ, Hôn nó thôi à, Hôn nó, ừ, hôn nó có tự động đóng đó. Đúng rồi Cái đó mình biết rồi mà Rồi thì để chia sẻ làm lại Tại vì nãy giờ anh này nói chuyện tiếng Anh không à Cho <cười> nên là mình Những như... cái đoạn nào mà Cần thiết Để cho các anh chị Và các bạn mà đã Sở hữu xe rồi đó Không hỏi những cái này cái tip nhiều người thì chắc là các anh chị cũng đã biết rồi Nhưng mà Chi hôm nay thì Chi mới học được những cái điều Chi mới biết Cũng rất là hay Rất là thú vị Thì Chi sẽ chia sẻ à, Xin cảm ơn các cô chú anh chị và các bạn đã theo dõi à, Hẹn gặp lại video kế tiếp Bye bye